Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Every Reckoning with me, Frank and Don. Oh, some enemies just spawned up here. I feel like I was blocking there, but sure. Oh yeah, the hangups are getting much worse, I think. That's so irritating. <laughs> oh well. Let's just keep cutting down enemies on our way to the town to the mayor. Same with that town. about you. I am just looking for... All right, you know what? Yeah, we're just gonna do the town this episode, I think. Did that NPC just disappear? Okay, well. Let's go grab these two chests, then we'll go check out the town and talk to the NPCs there. Yeah, the hangups... They definitely seem like they're getting worse. I don't know what to do about it at this point. Or sorry, maybe you call it stuttering. I call them hangups, but stuttering is probably a better term for it. No new fixes to try today. I finally decided to reach out for help in regards to the problem, but I haven't got any feedback yet. So... We'll see what happens. Hi, Brock Almar. Yeah. Have you heard the news? They say there are spies among the refugees. The Twatha won't leave us be. Uh, the burn. It's the neighborhood burned to ash by the Twatha in the early days of the war. It's been completely rebuilt, of course. But I know when to heed a message from the gods. Refugees. I feel for these people. They've endured more than should be asked of anyone. I'd much rather stand by them than the cold souls of a mere village. Forsaken Plain. Believe it or not, I'm not a native of these fair and forsaken plains. No. I was once a profitable exporter based in Rathir. Alas, my business went to the flame. Yes, that's right. I lost everything in the burn. But I found that opportunity always awaits those who search for it. He has oh, a I kind face. <laughs> Quest giver over there. What do we have here? Refugee. Militia. Refugee. 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 Alright, Elrod Edmund. What is it now? I've told you before and I'll tell you again. We will leave when there is someplace else for us to go. Tell your friends in Emir that as long as the Tuatha burn our homes, we'll keep searching for a place to settle. So this is the guy, the refugee in the other camp on the eastern part of the Forsaken Plains. Uh, she had said, You don't belong here. I'm gonna call Elrod. Well, here he is. A Forsaken Plain. Here we are safe from the Fae. All of them. We are simple people. We don't wish to be pawns in the games of immortals. Summer or winter. As for a mayor, the villagers have made it very clear that we're not welcome. They would be more understanding if they had endured our hardships. The mayor. They claim to be low on supplies, to be unable to spare even the smallest charity. But I know better. I have seen. Unlike us, they have everything they need, and more. Elrod Edmund. I was raised in Calm and spent my summers fishing the Tawili coast. And when the war came, I threw my lot in with General Talera. May she forgive herself. Atwatha attacked you? I saw them with my own eyes. 
and I know Tuatha. Killed my fair share in the war. I am Elrod Edmund, leader of this pathetic band of ragmen. We come from the farms of the Twilly Coast. Go there now, and you will find only ruin. The Tuatha raiding parties terrorized us where we were safest. At home. There are spies among us, my friend. And they must be rooted out. Will you help me? Uh, what do you have in mind? Kill them. What else? I would do it myself, but I must lead my people. They have no hope left to speak of. My strength is all they have. Okay, I'll help you. Fine. Then we shall be discreet. There are three whom I suspect of scouting for the Tuatha. They are paid in gold. There is no record of their actions. Onred Amfast is posing as a military recruiter, while Froma and Nag are both residents of our camps in the plain. Be careful. Consider all of them well connected. Be swift. Be merciless. Where can I find them? Onred lurks in the shade of the Forsaken Plain, mostly. Try a mare, or the West Phalans. Froma and Nag are likely in one of the refugee camps to the east. Okay. Gonna hunt down some spies. We'll save that for the next episode. Alright, we just found a mayor village. Come on, Corthian set. Corthian chest piece. Let's see, is there anyone out here that has a name? Doesn't look like it. There are, well, there's a uh, Stone of Summer down there. Oh well. Hagney Home. Wait, what was that? Notice of forfeiture. Uh, to Brit Hagney. It has come to our attention that a number of funds have been appropriated in your name from various trade houses in the city of Rathir, from the accounts of a merchant named Azo Raymond. Raymond has not been seen in Rathir for some time, and his payments for his properties and stock have not been submitted over the last few weeks. As his last known contact, we humbly request uh, that, should you have contact with Raymond, you notify him of his outstanding debts to us. Uh, he must rectify them immediately, or for forfeit both his Rathir properties and stock. We thank you for your compliance in this matter. With your customs house. May I help you? Our refugees. They are poor creatures. I pity them, as should you. A mayor. It took much gold to secure a permanent residence here, and for reassurances that there would be few questions. A Brit Hagney. There is very little of interest to know about me. I'm a simple scholar. I'm here for the serenity, the quiet. Are you Aza Raymond? Where did you hear that name? The man you speak of is dead, and all of his wealth has died with him. Mm-hmm. Are you sure you're not Azo? I told you, I don't know the man. I know it's you. <laughs> Enough. You're persistent. I understand. What do you want? I want no part of that old life. Not the gold, not the reputation, not the worry. I made that false grave because I was tired of people hounding me for salvation. Wish to know where my money is? I'll tell you. It's gone. All gone. All I have left are my family rings. I just want to be left alone. To start over. Can't you appreciate that? Please, show me some mercy. My silence for your rings. <laughs> so it's blackmail then. My new life is worth more than any jewelry. You should learn that now. Lest they try to put a knife in your back. Goodbye. All right. Well, is this stuff that I can equip? Nope. Stay out of. Come on, Corthian chess piece.
One day I'll get it right. He either doesn't know or doesn't care. Test collection nine. Um, let's talk to him first. Oh, hello. I don't recognize your face. Strangers are somewhat scarce in a village like this one. Good day. I am Anka Edmure, scholar and novice sage crafter. Of course, I may not be a novice much longer. Not after the Scolia Arcana reads my latest discoveries. Well, congratulations on your soon-to-be success. There really has to be a better way to do this. Scalia Arcana. They are the supreme authorities on magic, and for years I have petitioned them for membership. Unfortunately, they have yet to recognize my scholarship. Amir. I follow the strains of magic to this spot, across fields and forests, and over sea and stone. There is a great power resting beneath them there. It's ancient, wild. Discoveries. Very few have noticed, but the temperature around the Forsaken Plain is dropping. It's so slight that you wouldn't even feel the chill unless you knew to expect it. I don't know the cause of this phenomenon, but I'm sure whatever it is will greatly interest the Scoria Arcana. And then Anker Edmer. I've lived in Amer for many years, uneventfully so. But recent events have led me to believe that my time is all part of a greater destiny. You see, my apprentice Donald and I have noticed strange weather patterns that occur only in the Forsaken Plain. We don't have answers yet, but we will. All right, well, I wish you luck in your endeavors. Hopefully you don't get mad at me for stealing from you. Well, I'll just have to pay the guards. It'll be fine. I'm basically made of money. Come on, arrest me. Yep, uh, pay fine. Me... Alright, already been in there. Let's go up here. Come on, Corthian chest piece. Oddities and curios. All right, what else do we have? Bunch of junk. It's fine. More junk. All right, Wayne. Oh, what's your name? Imundus. You resemble someone of authority. Two rogues, likely freemen, have stolen a precious item from me. Pay attention! And to think my taxes pay your salary. Uh, Wayne Imundus. I am W. Imundus, owner of Oddities and Curios by W. Imundus. I have lived in the Mare Village for nearly one year. I detest it. And don't get me started on the Alpha. You sound like an awful person. Uh, the freemen. One must keep an eye on every possession since the freemen began to terrorize the plain. Some dare to enter the village even with the militia outside. Stolen item. It was an impressive gem sold to me on the road to Haxi. Quite the curio. It is called the Eye of Amun, a magical token shaped by the Fey Amun the Clever. I have yet to research it thoroughly, but it is certainly valuable. Or you get scammed. Uh, refugees. Disgusting swine.
sweaty, pathetic things. Do not misunderstand me. I have sympathy for the wretched, but only if they're far from my doorstep. That sounds about right. Uh, Amir. This village was once a bustling crossroads for traders and dealers in the arcane. However, in recent years, it has become a barren outpost for the ignorant. Uh, tell me what happened. There were two of them, swarthy brutes, hairy, filthy. A shudder at the thought. The beasts ransacked my antiquities collection and stole several notable items. I am a gentleman, and if you can recover my amulet, I will make it worth your time and effort. I glimpsed them leaving through the back window as they made for the woods. Uh, what's in it for me? Name your price. Well, perhaps that's not accurate, but you will win my favor. And they don't call me the richest man in Gorhart for my charming personality. You're not in Gorhart. All right, I'll, I'll help you anyway. Excellent. I will stay here secure and wait for your return. Anything else? I've told you everything, fool. Oh, wow. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, his design <clears throat> kind of reminds me of the merchants from Fable. I'm not going to read that. May as well do the outlaw pit, I think, before we go into the main tavern area. Peter Raisdick? Raisdick? Stand back! The jail is closed to everyone but the militia. You'd best stroll elsewhere. Refugees are everywhere around the village, and they'll snatch anything they can get their sticky fingers on. Uh, refugees. A shifty lot, those vagabonds. I'm not a noble, but I've taught enough of them to know that their condescension is justified. Some people are just born to steal, to scrounge. I can't help it. It's in their nature. Like animals. A lot of uh, prejudice in this village. Uh, Peter Reisdick. I was a scholar before the war. A teacher in the fine art and history of tapestries and painting. Skills that have little use during wartime. I became a soldier for the coin. It was that or starve. Okay, a mayor jail. You wouldn't believe who they've got back there. Real hardened criminals. I think. Most of them just look like refugees, but how can one really tell? I can't give you entrance. It goes against every code I've sworn to uphold. At least, I think it does. All right, a mayor. Honestly? I didn't even know this village existed. I couldn't point to it on a map. It could disappear tomorrow, and no one would even notice. Back to the watch, then. All right, well, I'm going to go right on in here. Look for some chests to open up. In hopes that I find that last piece of the Corthian set. Because that would be pretty cool. For the inset? Nope. Hello. Alright, there's no other reason to be in here, it seems. I think this is just gonna be a prisoner, right? Yep. Whoops! Did not mean to do that. I was trying to start. I was trying to sprint and actually <laughs> hit the lever. I really have someone on the lever guarding it instead of, you know what, whatever. Their security is not my concern. Stout staff. <laughs> I do enjoy me some alliteration. Ooh, 
Come on, Corthian set. I missed the name of the tavern. Was it Bill's Tavern? Just give me a straight answer. Is the general still in the cradle of summer? She is for as much good as it'll do her. But the cards don't lie. She'll never get that door open. Fate says it's so. Yes. Well then I suppose we'll just have to change fate, won't we? I am on official business. Unless you've been sent by the Alpha army, we have no reason to speak. Okay, uh, refugees. Let's just say I'm glad I'm not one of them. War is harsh on many people in many ways. Those of us who can avoid the suffering should. Uh, Amir. I'm here as a recruiter for the Alfar army. My superiors believe there's still fresh blood to be wrung from the Forsaken Plain. They're wrong, of course. Anred Amfest. I was a soldier once, in the years before the Crystal War. I saw many die at Galafor Fields. You could say I learned my lesson. Okay, uh, tell me about the Tuatha. Ask anyone and you'll get the same answer. They're animals. They care nothing for the mortal races. We're just dust to them. I mean, you're a spy or die. A spy? Me? <laughs> Ridiculous. You might want to stop your drinking while you still have some of your wits left. Or perhaps I better stop you myself. Good riddance. <laughs> oh, he's gonna... <laughs> Okay, don't attack me. How about that? Especially with your fists. Like, what do, what do you think was gonna happen? Han Tetrin or Han Tetrin. Make yourself comfortable. We don't see too many travelers in a mare these days. Not with that forest of tents growing out front. Relax and partake of what our small hamlet has to offer. Okay, a mare. This is the birthplace of alchemy in the Feylands. These plains have been soaked in the deepest magic. Every leaf, every stem, every root holds secrets. If you want to know more about our history and about the fascinating flora and fauna of the Forsaken Plain, speak to Molly upstairs. She's a sweetie. Actually, do you have... Well, I'll take your lockpicks. I was hoping for... Eh, doesn't matter. Refugees. Refugees from the coast of Twili. They claim their village was burned by Tuatha, but I know better. The Tuatha here in the realm of the Summer Court? I think not. They began arriving several weeks ago, marching from Galifor with their belongings dragged behind them. We've given them all we can, but we only have so much. Room. No problem. We just fixed one up all nice and tidy. You're welcome to it. Uh, no thank you. Well, you know where to go if you need a place to rest. We'll be here if you need us. Alright, Orca Tetran. Hello. I'm Orca Tetran, village healer. You're new in a mare. I never forget a face. Are you with the refugees? I am not. Refugees. They are sorry, Caravan. I, for one, believe their stories. Look what the Tuatha have done across the sea, and what they intend to do if they arrive here. Gods forbid. What would stop them from sending warriors to hunt us down by our very hearths? The Tuatha will not rest until they break us. That is why we must never let them. Uh, Oddwald Benothis? I've never met one so obsessed. He goes on and on about his life's work, as if other mortals will find his study of the Fae as fascinating as he does. You can usually find him holed up in his house across the way, but sometimes he spends time here with us in the tavern. Okay, a mare. I'm sure you've heard about how a mare is the birthplace of modern herbalism, a cradle of enchanted flora, a haven for the wildest reagents. Me, I don't care about that. I like the people. We get all sorts of interesting folk in here, like Oddwald the Scribe, like you. Nope, I'm never bored, not in a mare. Bye, stay safe. Come on, I'm not gonna make that. Come on, Corthian chest piece, though. No. I was asking too much. Alright, don't want to talk to her yet. Let's talk to Leist Noster? Lace Noster? You with that duckle far woman? Well, between you and me, I think she might be a bit off her head. That's what the cards say, at any rate. A forsaken plane. Nasty out there. 
But with Freeman plaguing the roads south, there's not much safer travel to be had. Cold comfort. Fate weaving. If you've got a knack for it, there's a living to be scratched out of fate weaving. Farmers like to know their yields in advance, at least. The mayor. Don't know much about it, really. I'm not from here. I'm just passing through. Pleasant travels. Okay. Oddwald Benothis. Isn't it a glorious day? As if Helios himself warms us with a smile. To what do I owe this courtesy? I only have a few moments to spare. The god storm awaits my return, and it doesn't like to wait. Refugees. My advice to them would be to gain some perspective. Villages grow and burn. There is only one event that is worth our attention, and that is the god storm. Sounds exciting. Of course, I don't typically prefer the company of others. Take the leader of these refugees, for example. Master Elrod Edmund. Gruff, coarse, not a pleasantry in sight. Oddwald Benothis. I was born in the city of Rathia, an orphan of the Wendy. One day, I stumbled upon the Scolia Arcana Library, and I found new life in the ancient books. A mayor. It is a good place to find the piece I need to complete my work, although the refugees have certainly slowed progress. I am not one for the cacophony of any kind. I don't know how the Fae in the Cradle of Summer can stand having us so near. Our mortal din is far too distracting even for me. Cradle of Summer. I have never laid my gaze upon it. Such a thing would not be proper. I am a dustling, a child of death. The Cradle of Summer must not be sullied by my taint. Uh, what is the God Storm? Why, the God Storm is the greatest event that our fragile world has ever witnessed. It was a battle, a conflict between Fae. They call it the Withering War. That's why I relocated to Emer to complete my book, the definitive work on the subject. The village is nice enough, quiet, although the new arrivals give me no peace. Sadly, I lack the last few resources needed to tell the full story. The works of the famous scribes, Ewald, Dalston, Callus, and Wildfrold. Gone. I was so close. Godstorm. It is not in the Fae's nature to fight. The summer and winter courts have existed in harmony since the beginning of time. Leave it to us mortals to ruin a good thing. Five hundred years ago, the Summer King Issa and the Winter Lord Own broke from that pattern and fought a battle here, on this very plain. The land carries the scars. Now where can I find the documents? They are lost to the ages, I'm afraid. Mines such as Awald and Callus are rare. I suspect that their works have been spread across the plain. The theme's wisdom be yours. All right, we'll talk to Aelin in a bit. So leave that dead body on the floor. The princess. Is it loading the book? That was weird. I will grab it. We might read that later. I don't know why it took so long to open. I don't know what's going on. This game has been. Whoops. I need to go outside and pay off my fine. I do. Otherwise, these people are going to be mad at me. I can't leave. Hey. You there. Halt. Don't let me. Be careful. This guy's trying to citizens arrest me. All right. Let's go and Hello speak there. to Molly Janik. Time, someone new. I was beginning to think I'd turn to dust here at this counter alone, uninteresting and not having spoken to another soul in days. Han likes to keep me up here because down there I fill his ears with talk. Like that's a bad thing. This village is a graveyard sometimes. Talk would do it some good. Molly Janik at your service. I teach alchemy. What can be taught, that is. Most of it is a gift. Either you have it or you don't. Okay, uh, refugees. Han is an idiot. 
He's the only one who's imposed this ban on refugees in the village. To what end? They don't want trouble. Only food, water, a warm bed. Idiot. A mayor. Dull. I hate to say it, but the refugees are the most excitement we've seen here in weeks. You'd think there'd be more drama with a war on, but not in Emir. Here we are between the Cradle of Summer and Rathia, and I spend my days watching the clouds drift by. Alchemy. It's big business around here. The magic of the Forsaken Plain has cooked up some mighty strange ingredients, that's for sure. You'll find some pretty weird stuff. My father was an alchemist. He trained me and my sister Lila to carry on his legacy. Lila hates people. Spends most of her time in the Cradle of Summer, alone. Lila Janik. What do you want to know? If you're going to spend time with Lila, you or might Lila. want to prepare yourself beforehand. She's, uh, unique. Lila has spent far too long in the Cradle of Summer with the Fae and their magic. All of that exposure has, uh, how do I put this, altered her perspective. She's strange, all right. There, I said it. Okay, uh, training. Don't be a stranger. All right, Akame's skill has been increased. Let's go talk to Aelin yes. Shear. Thank you for coming all this way. I don't know if you heard that, but it sounds as if General Talera is still here in exile. Now, why is she in exile? For all but losing the fortress of Melsen Shear. Long ago, Talera led our forces, but then the Tuatha produced a foe she could not best. Her forces barely survived the retreat out of Clurakan. Many blamed her for the loss, to have built up hopes so high, only to have them topple. That was Talera's crime, and she has paid for it, day after day. I should meet her there? You're as quick as ever. Talera is in the Cradle of Summer, banished from the battlefields of Mel Sanchea, until she can atone for her past. According to the Fate Weaver here, she seeks an artifact from Ural Tusk that might break the siege and aid our forces. But she cannot do so alone, for poor Talera is fated never to succeed. That is where you can help. Ural Tusk. In a hidden valley, northwest of the plains of Erethel, the ruins of Ural Tusk lie undisturbed, as they have for many centuries. What Talera wants there is beyond me, but I trust her, even if it goes against my better judgment. Okay, and where is General... Oh, let me just make sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, where, uh, where is General Talera? Last I heard, General Talera was somewhere in northern Erethel, searching for a way to turn the tide of the war. I think she took a squad to Uraltos. You should be just what the General's looking for. Okay, well, let us... Vacate the premises. I want to go talk to two NPCs real fast, and then we'll call it an episode. Uh, the other two spies for the uh, spy hunting quest. So one is down here. Yeah. To the south. Welcome. Oh no, this is her quest. Well, we'll talk Things to her then. about ready to give up. Tell me, have you heard any news of Brit Hagney or his final resting place? Uh, here are the rings. Great Mitharu. They're even more dazzling than I dared hope. You could have kept them, but you didn't. You are a friend of the Forsaken Plain refugees, and to me. Please, it is paltry, but... Except this is thanks. May the authority watch over you all of your days. Okay, well, let us uh, go over here then. I'm willing to bet one of the refugees that we need to speak to is here for that spy quest. I think the other one's probably to the north because there's that one NPC we could speak to, but he had no purpose. What? What do you want? Do you always approach strangers out in the wild? It's a bad habit to be sure. Uh, from our Tonwald. I was a seamstress who made nets for the coastal fishermen. My hands may be callous, but they're strong. 
Well, usually calloused hands are an indication of strong, uh, whatever. Forsaken plane. I don't care where we are. All I care about is finding some place to call home. So if I can keep that blasted battle, their glory, I just want a decent night's sleep. That's a spirit. Uh, tell me about the Tawatha. What kind of question is that? You want to know about the Tawatha? Go back to Tawili. Gaze at the fires that never cease. There's your education. Uh, you spied on your people. Uh, as a question. You spied on your people? What was I supposed to do? The Tawatha will sow terror far beyond Tawili to the depths of Dalantarth if they can. I only did it for the money. But I will never do it again, you have my word. Spare me, please. Bye. Okay. I'm assuming the last one is up here, then we'll go in back and talk to Ed... Edmund. That's his last name, I think. Nag Fendar. Is that a fortunate name? Me. I'm not doing anything strange. You're the outsider here. Okay. Uh, tell me about the Tuatha. Tuatha? Are you mad? The only thing I know about the Tuatha is how they killed my cousins and put my granary to the torch. You're spying on your friends? Who told you? Was it Froma? I knew she was weak. I need the gold, okay? The Tuatha took everything. The least I can do is take their money. Listen, spare me and I'll leave. Disappear. Just go where they can never find me. That's a promise. Goodbye. Okay, well that's done. Back to Amir. We'll turn in that quest. And we'll call an episode after that. Watch yourself. I feel like we made some decent progress here. Spoke to everybody in Amir at least. Damn refugees. The road has been long for you, my friend. You wear the dust of a job well done. I thank you. The people of the Tuli Coast thank you. I have seen much savagery on the eastern shores. May it stay there, where blood fills the boots of the fallen. We all do our part. You have done yours. All right. Stay vigilant. We'll call the episode here. In the next one, we'll continue exploring the Western Forsaken Plain. We have a few quests to do here as well, and lore stones to collect, and chests to collect as well. Hopefully, we find that last piece of the Corthian set. <clears throat> Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode.